PGM Reboil, you're thinking a total solution for ball screws. But James, why are you here? Uh, I'm from Bosch Rexroth. Uh, we've been working uh, with PGM Reboil closely over the last year uh, as a distributor for our linear motion technology range. Okay, so PGM, I'm thinking they're doing the more bespoke solution, is that right? So you're more off-the-shelf solution? Uh, that's correct, yeah. They're, they're handling a lot of um, uh, lower volume, um, end-user customer business. Um, we've had a big push this year for um, referrals of, of different accounts and using distribution of, as a way of getting our product out into the market. Okay, so essentially if you're thinking ball screws, that sort of, any solution for that, get in contact with PGM Reball, but they will supply Bosch Retros products as well. That's correct, yeah. yeah. Okay. So they, uh, they stock Bosch Retros products uh, on the shelf yep. uh, and then can also offer uh, things like repair uh, and some after-sales service as well. Okay. So looking around here, you've got a selection and this just sort of scratches the surface. So what have we got going on here? Uh, we've got uh, an example of an electromechanical cylinder here. Okay. Uh, so this may be used in press applications. Okay. Um, so a lot of the industries that we're in uh, Food and packaging, for example, are looking for a bit of a cleaner environment, moving towards electrification. So they may use this uh, as an uh, alternative to a hydraulic cylinder uh, in a press. Right, so health and safety, keeping the food product clean, but also Correct. you said pressing, thinking guillotines, fabrication as well? Yeah, it could be uh, automotive industry is a good example okay. um, for press applications. Uh, and as I mentioned, the, the food and uh, packaging industry as well. Right. Now, next one, it might make sense to go along the line. What have we got going on here? Uh, we've got some uh, linear modules here. Um, so there's two different styles and two different sizes. Uh, and we'd look to, to, to sell these and to use these in machine tools in conjunction with some of our other products, such as the ball screws. Okay. Now, I'm also looking at these. I'm thinking this is running on bearings. This is on rollers. Is that right? That's right, yeah. If you can, you can see from here, those ones. You've got some rollers okay. on that particular style. And again, with my extensive knowledge, I'm thinking not quite as accurate, so maybe you pick and place as opposed to your machine tools? That, yeah, 100%, yeah. Good example is pick and place for this one and then your standard machine tool for the bigger one. Okay. And then we've got ball screw applications here, which PGM Reball specialise in, so service, maintenance, repair, but also brand new ones as well. Uh, yeah, brand new ball screws and, and ball nuts uh, obviously can be supplied separately. Uh, and we're also looking at the roller screws as well. Um, so they're uh, high rigidity uh, and can handle a much higher load capacity. Okay, as an example then, in terms of high load capacity, what sort of, diff what sort of differences between a ball screw and these? Um, the roller screws, um, you would just buy as that assembly. Yeah. So if a customer had one of those on whatever machine he's got, you would just buy it as it is. Whereas the, the ball screws can be supplied as just a shaft. PGM can machine the ends right. and also the, the shaft nut individually. Okay, so you're saying that PGM can machine this, so you, you've got sort of great faith in them in, in the fact that they're doing work for you, even though, you know, German high precision components all around, yeah. they actually do work for you as well. Yeah, that's right, yeah, we, as I say, we're, we're looking to push distribution, especially throughout 2019. Um, so yeah, the confidence for them to handle inquiries that we give them um, from both technical competency uh, and flexibility and speed to the customer. Excellent. And as I said, touched on a, a small part of the product range here, but you've got a huge catalogue. So b basically, any solution in terms of those machine tools, is that correct? That's right, yeah. This is just a, a small um, sample here of our yeah. linear motion technology range. Yeah. Um, but above and beyond this, um, dependent on customer requirements, PGM will obviously have the, the technical backup from Bosch Rexroth um, to, to pursue other, other component ranges as well. Oh, okay. And also, you mentioned they hold it in stock, so I'm an engineer, my machine tool's gone down for whatever reason. Mm. How, how quickly can I get sort of back up and running? Um, if, if the part's in stock, uh, then PGM can supply that same day if need be. Uh, obviously, repair is another option, maybe a bit of a short-term fix. Uh, if the new component's not on the shelf, then the lead time will be determined from Bosch Rexroth uh, based on the uh, production facility in Germany. Okay. So... Why then will I be using Bosch Rexroth products? Uh, Bosch Rexroth prides itself on precision engineering. Um, we're confident that the tolerances that we provide are um, leading in the industry. Uh, and we also like to think that if a customer is using a, uh, a Bosch Rexroth ball screw, for example, then why not look at the other product ranges yep. to go with that? Yep. Uh, and that's better for the end user, one vendor, 
takes out the uh, the hassle for them as well. I understand consistency, consistency as well, because you've been going six, well, since the 60s? That's right, yeah. Yeah, long-standing um, presence in the UK. Uh, so we've got uh, three main sites, Sirencester, St Neots and Wakefield, um, all really responsible for different technology ranges and all specialised in certain areas. Okay. Excellent. That's great. Br little insight into Bosch Retroth, but anything ball screw, well, linear motion control, did you say? Uh, linear motion technology, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Get in contact, well, basically, PGM Reball. Yeah, yeah, 100%.